So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, so, so Guy Kovalev recently did an interview at an upcoming press event for his upcoming rematch with Andre Ward on June 17th for the unified light heavyweight titles, the first fight was very controversial, Kovalev lost his world titles when Andre Ward nicked a very razor thin unanimous decision against him and Sergei Kovalev felt very hard done by a lot of people felt that Sergei Kovalev won so did Sergei Kovalev a lot of people felt that Andre Ward just nicked the fight so it was very split in terms of people's opinions on who won the fight like I had Andre Ward winning the fight by a round or two but I also wouldn't have been upset if Sergei Kovalev won it by a round or two it was very close like it was a one round two round swing for both guys but when you've got people saying that Sergei Kovalev won the fight by five or six rounds then I'm just like where show me where Sergei Kovalev won the fight by five or six rounds like some people just can't score fights like don't get me wrong if you had Sergei Kovalev winning the fight by a round or two or you had it a draw then I can totally say yeah I could see that but when you start saying that Sergei Kovalev won the fight by five, six, seven rounds and stuff like that, then I'm just like, where? Show me. Because it just didn't happen in my opinion. But yeah, to quote Sergei Kovalev here, he says, right, it was not the first fight where I'm angry. I'm always angry when I'm fighting, but last two fights were very disappointing for me. Right now at this point, I'm feeling good and I feel not any problem to get back my belts. I was overtrained from my first fight against Andre Ward. I did three workouts a day. I tried to do everything faster and stronger instead of running five miles. I did eight miles. I did more than I usually do all the time. I overtrained. One day in my hometown in Russia, a 25 year old girl slapped me on my shoulder. Don Andre Ward punched me in the fight. It was the same. I didn't feel any hard punches from him. I didn't feel his uppercut and so I didn't block his uppercut. I didn't feel this punch but judges counted this punch. It is touches, it is not punches. Punches is punches, his was like a tap. Judges can't with any tap in his punches. So what Sergei Kovalev basically is saying that he didn't think the shots Andre Ward were hitting him with were effective enough for him to be winning the rounds and stuff like that. But Andre Ward was still landing scoring shots. Like After Sergei Kovalev dropped Andre Ward in the second round and Andre Ward got up, Andre Ward took away the right hand that dropped him. Like he totally neutralised that right hand and Sergei Kovalev didn't throw it for the rest of the fight. Well, didn't land it for the rest of the fight because Andre Ward took it away from him. And Andre Ward sucked Sergei Kovalev into his own game plan by making it a very messy fight on the inside, wrestling on the inside, um, landing the sneaky shots on the inside. This is what Andre Ward does. Like... Some people are acting like they've never seen Andre Ward fight. Like this is how Andre Ward fights when it's a tough fight for Andre Ward. Like he gets on the inside, he wrestles, and he lands these sneaky shots. Like Andre Ward has a very, very good ring IQ. So he can adapt to certain ways to win a fight. Like Andre Ward hasn't lost a fight since he was 13 years old. And he can adapt to styles, Andre Ward, and he managed to adapt to Sergei Kovalev as the fight got later and later and Andre Ward became more elusive to what Sergei Kovalev was throwing and he was just winning the fight as the later the rounds went on Andre Ward he was just taking the rounds off Sergei Kovalev and he just managed to narrowly get the victory so I think Sergei Kovalev will really need to change his approach in the second fight he needs to really not let Andre Ward off the hook. If he gets Andre Ward hurt, he can't let him off the hook. He needs to try and finish Andre Ward. Because after that first knockdown in the first fight, Sergei Kovalev didn't really put it on Andre Ward and he managed to let Andre Ward get his legs back and stuff like that. And Andre Ward got into the fight, got into a rhythm and Sergei Kovalev can't allow him to do that. And Sergei Kovalev is a very mean man. Like... He must be one of the meanest men in boxing today, Sergei Kovalev. Like, if there's one guy I wouldn't like to get in a boxing match with, it's Sergei Kovalev, who I wouldn't like to be in a fight with because he is a very scary, mean man. Like, this is a guy who's killed somebody in the ring 
and then in his next eight fights knocked out his next eight opponents like some guys you see it having a psychological problem after they've severely hurt guys in the ring and stuff like that like they kind of lose the killer instinct so guy Kovalev killed a man in the ring and then went out and was still knocking guys out cold like this is a very mean man and when he said stuff like this it felt like a girl slapping me like Clarissa Shields former Olympic gold medalist she's taken to social media before and called out Sergei Kovalev by saying stuff like this saying that he's putting women down and saying women can't fight she found it very offensive and he's done stuff in the past Sergei Kovalev in terms of apparently being racist towards Adonis Stevenson WBC light heavyweight champion but this doesn't seem to bother Sergei Kovalev it's just like he don't care he's a very mean man Sergei Kovalev and he's a very dangerous fighter so Andre Ward will really need to be on his A game when he fights Sergei Kovalev because not only is he fighting Sergei Kovalev who's a very mean individual anyway he's fighting a very angry Sergei Kovalev who felt like he's been hard done by he don't like Andre Ward anyway he said this many times Sergei Kovalev so pff. Andre Ward will have to be on his A game because this is a man who's looking to hurt him on June the 17th. So I can't wait for this fight. I'm looking forward for this fight. It's a very intriguing fight because I just want to see a clear winner this time. I want to see who is the real like, heavyweight champion and who is the pound for pound number one because whoever wins this fight will be pound for pound number one. There's no doubt about it. Even if you don't think that, it's still going to happen. So yeah. I'm going to start waffling on now anyway. Comment below in the comment section. It is JM. It is Speedboxing.